Hi there guys and girls and welcome to part 3 of my Mortal Kombat at E3 impressions, I guess you could call this series. Uh, I'd like to apologise for this video being late. Uh, last week I got very sick and I'm um, still sort of <coughs> recovering from it. Um, but I'm pretty okay now, it's just throat thing hanging around. But uh, yeah, it wasn't fun last week. I really wanted to get that video done too. and. Um, yeah, it just suddenly hit me uh, at night time and uh, was out of commission for a few days and just been getting over it since. So, apologies, but these things happen. Uh, that put aside, I'd like to jump right in now and talk about the mechanics of the E3 build of Mortal Kombat. Now, um, I have to go by, by memory in these videos, so if I make mistakes or anything, you know, try not to be too hard on me because, you know, I, I wish I could have taken more videos and, and footage and normally that's what I rely on when I go to E3 but they wouldn't let me do that so I have to try and remember everything and I was trying to do exactly that, I was trying to get as much time with the game as I could and um, you know just to remember, try and remember everything, that's why I was having trouble remembering Nightwolf's Fatality, I did actually see it and I believe it's in some videos, you've got to go through the YouTube videos, I believe you'll see it in there. Um, but I, I still can't remember exactly what he did, so, you know, I, I did see it though because I saw it in a video and I go, oh, that's right, you know, it, when I saw it, it, I brought it back, so, um, the first thing I guess I should say is with the mechanics, um, I've got some notes here to go by, uh, the thing that makes this special is the speed, which I've already gone over, and the 2D plane, uh, which I've also also mentioned. Now, fans have wanted the 2D for a long time, just because M MK fans were divided, and some weren't comfortable with the 3D, some wanted that 2D back, you know. But um, it's very hard to get that back. Uh, you know, you're going from the arcade to home market, from 2D to 3D, it's there's a lot of a lot of uh, things you could do or paths you could have taken. I think the, I'm happy with the way Mortal Kombat's gone so far along the path. Um, everything other than Special Forces, I've liked. Uh, oh, Special Forces and Mortal Kombat Advance. Um, and and uh, saying that, I, I will say this. Um, I think even Ed Boon said. He wasn't happy with the with Mortal Kombat mythologies and special forces, but I'll say I liked Mortal Kombat mythologies a lot. I actually really enjoyed that game. As corny as the video scenes were, it was a classic side-scrolling '90s game. It was just too short. I had a lot of fun earning my powers and fighting my way through the uh, through the Nether Realm and well, not the Nether Realm, the Earth, uh, Earth and water and wind. I, I thought it was cool. There were there were problems with the game. You know, the wind level was buggy and that, but. You know, it, it was good. So, you know, I'm happy with everything, even the 3D, you know, the, the Deadly Alliance, uh, Deception, Armageddon, I was happy with those. But it's good to go back to the 2D now. Um, so the two, we've got the 2D plane back, which is great. So when you're in the match, you're, you're always locked on, on a, on a level line with your opponent. There's no needing to sidestep, you know, you don't need to do anything, you're locked in. You're always like MK2. Imagine, you know, MK2, MK1, MK3, it was, it was, the picture was locked. Imagine it's like that, uh, it's like that, but the, the background's more 3D and the camera rotates around. That's it. You're still locked on with your opponent. Um, so th this obviously makes it, this is what I was talking about, makes it feel like playing MK2 when you'll be on the level with your opponent. You can just, you know, fireballs, bam, you can do your special moves, you can go into your combos. Um, now, the other thing that makes this so cool is, you know, that's pretty much all I can say about the 2D. Uh, I'm going to talk now about the super bar, which is the new super bar. This, this super bar is actually very ingenious, I think. Because in the in Deadly Alliance, you know, Armageddon, oh sorry, oh sorry uh, Deception Armageddon, we had breakers, right? Which worked great. You needed you needed those breakers, you know. 
But now it's it's a very interesting system because you don't get that breaker straight away. You know, they've ma they're making it old school, you know, like uh, you got to rely on the moves with this, with the way you play now. Um, because you don't have that breaker straight away. You've got to earn that breaker and you only get one. So the first level of super bar is a super special move. So rather than break your opponent out, you, you've got a better chance of... Uh, hitting him up with a, a, a larger force ball or a, you know, a bigger freeze, you know. Uh, each character can do a, a super version of their special moves. So, for example, Reptile does the force ball. If you do the super, this ginormous force ball goes along and you've got a really great chance of hitting your opponent with it. Um, now, if you were to save that super and not let it out, you'd go to level 2 of the super bar, which is a breaker where you can break out of a combo. Uh, if you were again to save that and go to level three, you'd get X-ray mode, which you all by now know about. Um, the the cool thing about X-ray mode is you can start a combo and you can lead that combo into X-ray. So you can go four hits and then unleash X-ray and and finish it off and make it look cool, you know, like that. Um, the comp the the combo system, which I'll talk about now, is great. It's like MK3. You can, it's, you can <coughs> start your combo, you do your few hits, and um, it, it can be on... Like, a lot of people liked it because the level with MK3, with the combo system, anyone could do it. High punch, high punch, low punch. Easy, right? Um, the thing is, you can do this with this game. You can go high... Or not high punch, high punch. There's no high punch anymore. You go... You go XX triangle or whatever, right? And you get your combo out. But um, for the advanced players, they can they can push that that envelope further. So it's it caters for both players. Whereas um, like when I was playing, I was getting these three four hit combos. I think one time I might have got a six hit combo, which I was proud of. But when I was watching like Paulo and John Edwards play, they were pulling off some great shit, like some awesome combos. Um, uh, remember, this, they did this one with Sub Zero where he did all these hits and popped him up, and then sort of fly kicked him, and then like sort of slid from the back and like just sort of came through as he came down and cleaned him up on the last hit. It just looks so smooth, you know. So, combo system now is catered for beginner and advanced levels, and it it caters for juggling, you know, standard combos, standard ground combos, you know. So you can mix it up. Uh, you can add in X-Ray, and if you're playing a tag team game, you can add in tag team moves. So if if your character comes in, they have their their own entry attack, um, which they can you can set into combos, you know, or you can f maybe even finish a combo with them coming in and doing their special. Um, yeah, that's what makes this Mortal Kombat so great to play and so easy, you know. That's what's so good about it. Um, I'll talk about the controls now. Um, the control system is just, it's, again, like MK2, MK3. You, you all know how to use the D-pad, you know, back, forward, left, right, you know. I, I can't remember if there was a dash. I'm, I'm spewing about that. I don't think there was. I'm, sh I'm sure there was an escape move, you know, where you, you tap back and you sort of, you know, go back. Um, there's no run button, so... And you got your four buttons now. A lot of people want, wanted to know if there was high punch, low kick, high kick, low kick. Um, you don't need that anymore. It's as Ed Boon said. You know, every character has their own moves now, so you can't you can't go back to that system anymore. And I agree, you can't do it because in the old Mortal Kombat, every character had a roundhouse, a sweep. You know, that was high kick, low kick. Every character had that. They all had the same moves. They just had special moves that were different, or that their uh, their animations were different, they might have given more range, less range, you know, things like that. That's what made Mortal Kombat so cool. Uh, I don't, you know, with Raiden, if you do a standing high kick with Raiden in MK2, you get a lot of range, he's got a long leg, you know. Um, but his uppercut's crap, you know, <laughs> he's got one of the, the shortest range uppercuts, you know, it's really, really close in, you know. Um, so with this game, you've got like, you've got Reptile, you know, he, They've got the four buttons, that's all you need to know. You've got your four attacks. You know, once you learn that character, and it's easy. You know, and you can still do the uppercut move. You still do the down and that. You know, everyone does have that. You still have, um, oh, I don't think you have to sweep, but you know, there's still um, 
moves like that, you know, but you need to have them that way now so you can, you know, have all sorts of different combos and things like that. And it works really well. Um, with moving, with moving around the arena, you know, like I said, it's, it's locked in on a 2D plane, um, and it's pretty much, it's easy to jump, duck, you know, do all that, escape, I'm not sure about the dash. Um, with the special moves, they come out as fluently as easy as any other Mortal Kombat, you know, doing a freeze moves easy, uh, doing, you know, all those moves easy once you know. Some moves have been changed around, like Sector's Teleport up because it's not forward forward anymore, down forward, you know, and I'm sure that's for because they need to reserve forward forward maybe for a dash. And, and like I said, I really wish I could remember if it was in the game. Wow. That's really annoying me. Um, honestly, that's pretty much everything. I've covered everything. That's as much as I can say about the mechanics of, the, of this game, of the build. Uh, I'm sure they're going to build on more onto it, you know, but um, it's great to see such an early prototype version, or what we call an E3 build, so polished. It honestly, it was such a polished game. Um, I saw one glitch in the build, that's it, um, which was just an animation glitch, you know, it wasn't even anything major, and uh, I saw nothing else, no other problems, you know. Um, they've been working on this game for such a long time, and uh, the end result's going to be really special. I'm, re I'm, I can't wait. I really can't, honestly. You know, to wait another year is torture for me. Um, I mean, I know it's, for you guys it's even worse because you haven't played it at all. And you know, I, I'm lucky enough. One of one of the lucky enough who got to to play it E3 for a few hours, but. You know, even that, I'd love to play it again, you know. Um, I will say this. <coughs> I believe Hector said that they're going to be demoing the game at Comic-Con. Uh, games convention. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure if this is 100% accurate. But I'm, I'm sure he said something like that, uh, that they're going to be demoing the game or showing. Maybe they're just going to be showing clips. I don't know. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to play it or not. But, um, you know, if you get your ch a chance to get hands-on with it, you guys are going to freak out. Um, also, if you do get a chance to get hands-on with it, remember, I, I tweeted the fatalities out there, so uh, down, 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 B on the 360 controller, which is, uh, I don't know what that is on the PS3. Um, yeah, circle, maybe. I don't know, circle or X or something. Um, and down, 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 A, close range for the pit fatality. Um, try those, because I don't know if they're going to change them uh, before the Comic-Con version comes out. I don't know if they're going to do that or not. Um, I'm not sure what, they, what they're really going to do. I'm not sure if they're going to have more characters. Uh... At this stage, it's really, uh, I'm really not happy with uh, the way they've promoted the game so far, honestly. Like, it was great seeing it at E3. It was great. It started off so good. The trailer came out for everyone at the same time. And like I said with the last one, that's exactly what I wanted. That's fair for everyone. Everyone got the trailer at the same time. That was the announcement. Then came E3, and that was great and all. But, you know, they wouldn't let me post these photos, which is ludicrous. Because if you look on YouTube and type in Mortal Kombat E3, it lights up like a bloody Christmas tree. And here I am with some great pictures, which I can't show you guys. It's, it's just crap. You know, and about every single person that went through that booth filmed the screen. And they've put that stuff on YouTube and Warners hasn't said shit. And I'm trying to get permission here to show the, the photos I took. And they're saying no. It just, it just doesn't make sense to me, man. It's just... I hate politics like this. I really do, you know. I'm, I'm, you know, even if, even now, if I show you guys the photos, you probably won't care because you've seen you've seen everything in the photos. I guarantee, you know. But it just it really hurts me because I know I had those photos first. I had those photos of reptile versus sector. Those really cool renders, slope screenshot, the first shot of scorpion confirming he was in the game, you know. And I couldn't show you, you know. And then all these other fucks posted everything up on YouTube and. And got the credit, and they're not even Mortal Kombat fans, you know? Just sucks. You know, so... It's, it's, 
I've been a bit unhappy uh, with the promotion so far, you know. And I keep getting told, you know, all the community aspects kicking in now, you know. And that, that to me, that's really insulting. They gave, like, all these exclusives to EGM and Hyper and, and German magazines. They gave renders. They've given out so many renders and so many screenshots and so many pieces of concept art. And they all went to the magazines. They couldn't give the websites anything. Really? Not one screenshot? Come on. I don't believe it. You know? It just really, really pains me. And the thing is, I, I can't even understand how Hyper got that exclusive. I'll tell you something about Hyper Magazine. I'll tell you a story. I started buying Hyper Magazine in 1992 because they had all the Mortal Kombat 2 moves in them. That's no lie. And I bought 100 issues of Hyper from that day on. Now, when Deadly Alliance and that started coming out, Hyper started bagging it out. They started saying, mm, it's not that good or whatever, whatever they were saying. I didn't like it, you know, they bagged out mythologies, they bagged out special forces, fair enough. They, bag they would just seem to be bagging out the MK games. And it just shit me. So I stopped buying the magazine, you know. And normally I stick with something. When I start something, I stick with it, you know. And I stopped buying it, it really pissed me off, you know. And then to see them get the exclusive like that, I mean, it's great for Australia and all, but why? I mean, there's, I know, you know, we got Tommy Dogu in Australia, we got TMK in Australia. You know, but there's not... Mortal Kombat here isn't that big. It's a lot bigger in the United States than it is in Australia. And I don't understand why they've given this exclusive to Hyper Magazine. And I, I swear, as, as, ludic as ludicrous as this may sound, I swear it's because of my website and Komidogu being in Australia. Two big Mortal Kombat sites in Australia showing that we have a passion for the game. And so, so what happens? Instead of giving us the support or the exclusives, they give it to some stupid magazine. No one here even cares about that. You know, I'm sure I'm sure some people go, oh that you know, that's great. Mortal Kombat. You know, but in America, a lot more people pay attention. Here it's all about Street Fighter, Tekken. You know how hard it is to find a Mortal Kombat in an arcade in Australia? Pfft, fat chance. But they're littered with Street Fighter games, Tekken, you know. I worked into one arcade in the United States when I was over there on, on um, the, oh, I've forgotten the name of it, uh, it was on Broadway, South Broadway, um, I've got photos of it, they had MK2 and Ultimate MK3, first arcade I walked in there I, and I clocked both, I beat both, you know, so that was awesome. And I don't mean to always constantly rant and bitch about, you know, oh, it's not fair, it's not fair, but it's fucking not fair. You know, they say we're going to get our turn, and I'm sure we are, but, you know, take your time, why don't you? you give, give every exclusive out there to all the magazines in the world first, and give us the scraps that are left over. What can I do? I've been promoting this game for a long time. Ten years, my website's been around for, and, you know, when shit like that happens, it gets to me, you know. And I'm the sort of guy that won't take shit, you know. Like, I respect, and I respect everyone. I respect Warner, and the reason I voice my opinion is so they know. You know, other people out there, they, they sit there all scared, like, oh, you can't talk to Warner like that. It's disrespectful, you know, it's not, it's not disrespectful. I'm saying what is going on here, I'm not happy, you know. Do something about it, you know. That's why I do this shit, you know. I want to work with Warner Brothers. I was really looking forward to working with Warner Brothers. I thought I was going to walk away from E3 with some really cool shit, but... I mean, I got the interview with Ed Boon and that was tops. And thanks for everyone for watching that, by the way, you know. But the interview goes hand in hand with, with your coverage. And it's like having only half of the pizza, you know, where's the other half, you know? <sighs> I'm sorry I go on and on and on, but, you know, I want you guys to know that it really did upset me, you know, to, not to be able to share those pictures, you know? And uh, I still can't share them, because they still say no. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm gonna cut it off there, I said my piece. Um, I guess I've got one more left in me. I'm just going to wrap it up sort of thing. Uh, 
And I've got something special that I'm saving for that video, so yeah. I got an ace up my sleeve. Um, that I'll put in the last video for you guys to enjoy. So thanks for watching, and I'll have the next one up sometime soon.